Hello YouTube, welcome to this uh, short video where I'm going to show you how I connected my M1 MacBook Air to a 4K uh, television uh, and to get that 60 Hertz. Uh, the, the television in question behind me is this LG C1 uh, and initially when I was doing this uh, using normal HDMI cables and some um, uh, hubs I was getting I could only get 30 Hertz and no matter what I did in the options um, I could never get more than a 30 uh, 30 uh, FPS frame rate for For it which caused the screen to be very jaggy So, you know just to show examples of what I was using I tried multiple docks I have the Microsoft dock here, which you know is a good expensive dock has the uh, HDMI connection on the side I also have some cheaper ones that I use for SD cards and again has HDMI connectors on the side now I tried all these multiple HDMI cables one here for example and um, every time I just had the problem so I quickly show you how I was connecting uh, show you the problem I was having and, and the settings I was seeing within the uh, Mac OS itself and uh, then show you the solution and spoiler alert it, it is a different cable that fixes this or at least that I found fixes this from multiple tries with with using a straight HDMI cable through some adopters but anyway to start with uh, I'll just show you an example of the issue so if we take the Microsoft dock which is the better dock here plug it into the side of my Mac take my HDMI cable uh, run this through uh, the HDMI connector here and this other end, which I'll show you in a minute, goes directly into the back of your television. And um, I'll show you then the settings that you'll see when you go to extend your screen and how you will go to extend your screen on the uh, Mac OS uh, operating system. Um, and once I've that done, then I'll show you the uh, alternative cable that I found works and gives me the 60 hertz in 4K and is much smoother, much better to extend a television or a 4K monitor uh, for your Mac. Okay, for the other end of the cable, I'll just take you onto the back of the television here. Apologies for the uh, jaggy camera arm as I'm handheld here, but I'm just taking the HDMI cable, plugging it directly into the back, and that's my straight connection then into the television. Okay, we're back in front of the Mac here. We have the um, Microsoft dongle connected, the HDMI going into the back of that, into the other end going into the back of the television. And you can see here the C2 in front of me has the extended screen. I quickly show you the options here on the laptop itself. So if we go to the Apple icon and system preferences and from there search for displays as you see here the little uh, monitor icon and when we bring that up then it shows you your uh, display overview where you get to kind of this is where you kind of position your screen so this bottom one is my actual uh, M1 MacBook Air and I position this under my LG so that the mouse, the mouse when I scroll up moves across to the, the screen up above. Uh, so then to see the resolution and uh, frame rate settings, because it's 4K 60 that I'm looking for, I go to display settings. So I have two screens here. One is the LG TV, which is the C1, and one is the MacBook Air, the built-in retina display, which I know is the main laptop. So the main display is fine, because, um, and I set the laptop as my main display. Okay, and this, these are the options I use here. So this makes the laptop screen work as normal. Uh, for the LG then, when I go in here, it's an extended display, which I want. The main screen is my MacBook, extended display to the LG. And uh, my refresh rate here, I've only got 30 Hertz. There's no other options here, no matter what cable, HDMI cables I try with this dock, I can only see 30 Hertz. Um, in terms then of trying to adjust the resolution to get something different, you know, we can try scale, go to give it more space. Again, nothing will change. Um, another tip down here, if you wanted to, to configure exact resolution, before you clicked on scale, before you click on scaled here, hold the option key on your keyboard, keep it held, and then click scaled, and you'll see then that you have these um, uh, resolution options. So you could try like 1440p on the TV on your LG TV, and again, only 30 hertz. So that's the problem I'm having here. The problem you may be having, um, and let's try it now with the other cable and see and see the difference. Okay, so the solution to this was to use a HDMI to USB-C cable. Uh, it's this one here. And by plugging this directly into the back of the television and obviously the USB side then, USB-C side directly into my Mac, uh, it showed different options on screen when I went to extend, which I'll show here now. The first thing I'll do is I'll just throw up the, the cable I bought on screen with the um, on the Amazon page so you know the exact one I'm using because I know there's multiple versions of these and not all may be equal when it comes to USB-C. So I'll throw that up here now. Okay, here I'm going to show you uh, links to these cables very quickly to get an idea of what I'm using and if you want to get them yourselves to know which one to get. 
So here I'm going to show a link from both the Amazon.uk site and the Amazon.com site. So the Amazon.uk site, this is where I got the cable I'm using, and is the Uni USB-C to HDMI cable uh, that you see here in front of you. This one supports the uh, 4K uh, 60 hertz um, while connecting it to my MacBook Air. So it costs about 20 pounds. I put the link in the description below. Also on Amazon.com, while I can't find the Uni version, there is an Anchor version of the cable, and um, Anchor has been pretty dependable to me in the past. So it's a USB-C to HDMI cable, six foot uh, by Anchor, um, and supports uh, 4K 60 hertz. And that one is $21. Um, and I'll put the link, for this, as I said, in the description for this one below too. So there's two options, one from Amazon.com and one from Amazon.uk. But if you do, depending on where you're watching this from, uh, do some searching. Uh, do some research and you'll find these cables easy enough. They're about 20 bucks a pop. Now then just to show how I um, link the, uh, set it up with the MacBook here for the television here behind me. Um, again, it was the same idea as last time, only this time it's USB-C goes straight into the side of the Mac and we take the uh, HDMI into the back of the television. And again, I'll take you back over to the laptop and show you the options we have and how it looks different. As before with the USB-C to HDMI cable, we're taking it in the HDMI side, plugging it back directly into one of the HDMI ports in the back of the television, and we'll go back to the computer to see how the options are different. Okay, so we're back in front of the Mac again. We have the HDMI to USB-C cable plugged in directly, so the HDMI into the back of the television and the USB-C into the side of the MacBook Air. Uh, we'll go through the options here again. So I go back to the uh, Apple icon, uh, system preferences, uh, down to displays, um, again, you can rejig your displays around so that underneath. Go to display settings, and again, my MacBook Air, same settings as last time. I've it set to my main uh, display default resolution, and then over to the LG TV. And again, as we see here, extended the extended display as well. The default for the display, which is 4K, and now I have my 60 hertz option, which is selected here. So now when I go to you know, move windows around or do any work on the screen up above here, as you see the window moving around, I, now I'm recording this at 30 uh, frames per second, so you're not gonna notice, but it is a lot smoother on that second screen and just works a lot better. Everything uh, fits the screen much, much better. So, um, you know, definitely worth doing, uh, definitely a cable worth having if you want that second monitor with 4K 60 frames per second. Okay, that concludes the uh, short video. I hope you found it helpful. Um, and I'm sorry that I, I can't find a software way to fix. And I'm sure there might be out there, but I, I couldn't find one that, that, that worked reliably. So the best way I found the cable, they're cheap, um, handy to have. And at least then with your M1 Max, so your M1 uh, MacBook Airs, um, you will be able to connect to the 4K TV, get that 60 Hertz and get so much more use out of your laptop uh, if you need that bigger screen real estate. Thanks for watching, hope you have a good day, and if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you.